Another edition of the International Bible Radio Show, The Bomb of Gilead. I am your host, Brother Julius. And to my left is our guest teacher for the night, another fantastic teacher from the Israel of God, Praise Brother Greg Lord. Taylor. Let's give a round of applause to you, Bomb. All right, thank you, Woo! thank you. Appreciate it, Brother. And Julius. to my left, left is Brother Will the Thrill. Turner. All Praise right, the Lord, all right. Praise the Lord. You Praise love him. He's your host, sisters and brothers. And tonight, sisters and brothers, we have a wonderful, wonderful. Anybody feel like getting married? Tonight's lesson is wedding vows. Brought to you by Brother Greg Taylor. First of all, we want to tell you, you don't, you, you don't want to miss this one. Like, share, and post wedding vows. Like. Share and post. I promise you, after this one, you're gonna wa watch it and you're gonna rewatch it. Man, I'm brother sharing Greg, sisters and brothers on my personal How you feeling like, brother? I'm good, brother Julius. Thank name you of for Jesus. having me. Thank Man, you for the name me. of Jesus. Will, how you feel? I'm great, brother. I'm blessed by the Team Lord. Bomb, how y'all feel? Just allowed to wake us up, sisters and brothers. Praise Jesus. Woken Amen. up in the morning. And we Man. take we take these things lightly and for granted. Man. But just for the Lord to call us about our sleep, sisters and brothers, and have another day on this earth, another day to repent. Man. The other day to repent is just a blessing. Yes, Man. it is. We, want, lost, we lost two sisters this week, sister. Yes. Brother, our, our hearts go out to the family of yes. our sisters, Sister Peggy. And I don't really know the other sister's name. I do apologize, but uh, may the Lord, we'll be looking for them in the resurrection. And, and the brothers. beautiful part about it is they die right. in, the, in, in the Lord, sister and brothers. Mm -hmm. That is the most important thing. We want you, I want to welcome our social media outlets, Will. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Man, Periscope, all other social medias out there, welcome to another edition of the Bomb Gilead. <coughs> Sisters and brothers, when you are letting us know, identify identify your state or your city where you let us know so we can send some shouts out to you, sisters and brothers. Man, the Bomb of Gilead is really, really, the Lord has blessed this show. Yes, he is. The Lord, and it is an Israel of God production. So do not be afraid to like, share, and post. I want to turn it over to Brother uh, Will. Turn on. Uh, Talk to the people, Brother Will, right so, before we open up. So, brothers and sisters, I know we have an awesome show because, I, I you know, Brother Greg is one of my favorite teachers here at Israel of God. Our favorite teachers. Well, our favorite teachers. And yeah. the Lord has inspired him to put together some awesome lessons, yeah. sisters and brothers. And you can find these lessons on YouTube, also on the Israel of God YouTube page. Yeah. You can just type in Brother Greg. You can type in Brother Ray. You can type yeah. in Brother Julius, Brother Will. And any of your favorite teachers that here at the Israel of yeah. God, the Lord said he's not a respected person. He has given each one of his teachers liberally, uh, his spirit his to put spirit. On, put put these lessons together, sisters yes, sir. and brothers. But to, today, 
when Brother Greg told me what he was doing, I said, this is going to be an awesome thing, awesome. Sister Brothers, because not only is he doing a Let's lesson, get married but he today. actually is going to do a physical marriage. Yeah. And Sisters and Brothers, if you go to your pastor, if your pastor is not a pastor is with a God, and you go to get married, and your marriage, your, your wedding is not done on this accord, Sisters and Brothers, maybe you have to... See if you get married properly, brother Gray. That's right. Because That's if right. you go to if you go if you get married and you not get no scripture read over you, then hey, God ain't in it. God ain't in it, right? And so today we're gonna do a a proper wedding, sister brothers, according to what thus says the Lord, sister and brothers. So, I'm already married, brother. I'm well, not married. I, I'm you. already married too, brother. Hey, hey that's be abomination, brother. <laughs> Hey, we just gonna keep it real. Okay. If, if, if it ain't between man and, and woman, uh -huh. it's abomination. That said is right. The Lord. That's and right. We gonna point that out too. We gonna point that out. So we gonna get started. Come I'm on, we we'll open us up. Isaiah sixty first chapter. Open us and up. And we gonna turn this over to Brother Greg. You want my glasses? Do with the Lord. I got my own glasses, okay. brother. Now you get too right. personal. Now in the oh. space. <laughs> Bomb and Gilead, y'all. Hey, come on, Will. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Yes, mm -hmm. because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Yes. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Yes. To proclaim liberty to, to the, the captives. captives. Yes. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Praise yes. the Lord. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Yes. The day of vengeance of our God. Yes. To comfort all that mourn. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give unto them beauty for ashes. Yes. The oil of joy for mourning. Yes. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Yes. That they may be called the trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that yes. he might. Be glorified. Yes, sir. May the Lord add a blessing to reading and the doing of his word. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Man. Brother Gray. Yes, sir. Take us home, brother. Listen, listen, brothers and sisters. I'd like to welcome every one of you out there to the uh, Bomb of Gilead. This is one of the greatest social media internet shows in the world. Praise the and Lord God And I appreciate the brothers for allowing me, Brother Ray and Brother Jeremiah, you're going to get next week. We appreciate the Bomb and Gilead uh, having us on the show. Man, Team Bomb, baby. I was told that, you know, the way the Israel of God do things is not quite the way the quote-unquote Sunday churches do things. Mm. And I told the lady, you're right. I mm. said, because we are a full-service church. Full you service? Know, full service. Okay. If you go to a car, full service car wash, you get your car washed. Yeah. You get it vacuumed out. You yeah. get your windows clean. You yeah. put a little smell in your car. They drive you out. They even wipe out the water out of the uh, 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 door wells yeah, and uh, door jams and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that's what we do. We do weddings. We do baptisms. We keep the past over. Yes. We keep all the high days that is written in Leviticus, the 23rd chapter. Little service. And the high days that is done in the New Testament, brother. Man, Lord, brother. We want you to kind of pay close attention because the first time I saw a wedding done, or a funeral done by the Israel of God, I was blown away because we deal with it according to the scripture. Yes, sir. And the Lord want this done according to the scripture. That's why he always have a minister that's present at a funeral or a wedding because we are God's witness to the vows that the brothers and sisters are going to take. Yes, sir. Right. So now we, we're we going to ask, you know, later on, we're going to ask a couple to come up and we're going to do a mock wedding. I want you to pay attention to the words that we say and the words that Brother Julius is going to read. So now, Brother Julius, we're going to start off in just the show because there was a brother that said doing a wedding in a church was, was uh, uh, we were in violation of having weddings done in the church. What? So I'm gonna, we're going to start in St. John. I mean, we're going to start, yeah, St. John chapter 2, and we're going to start off reading. Now, we want you to take notes, if you can take notes, and, and uh, text uh, uh, Brother Will if you have any questions or anything like that. But this is really important. This is dead serious that the Lord, and he's going to let you know that the Lord don't like divorce either. Mm -hmm. So we're going we gonna to go through the scripture and let the Bible speak. We're going to pick it up at verse 1, Brother uh, uh, What book are we going to? St. John. St. John. Chapter 2. Chapter 2. Verse 1. And verse 1. What is it say? And the third day, there was a marriage in Cana mm -hmm. of Galilee. Go ahead. And the mother of Jesus was there. Go ahead. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. So they were all there. So who, why would this brother say that you shouldn't do a wedding in the church on the Sabbath day or any day? That, that struck me as well. It's obvious that he hadn't read the scripture. Mm. Because 
Marriage is holy. It is a holy matrimony. <clears throat> yes, sir. So it is It is very holy. So now, what we're going to do, we're gonna, what we're going to do, since this is a mock wedding, we're mm-hmm. gonna we're gonna start off. We're gonna open up with the Lord's prayer. Okay. Because we always want the Lord involved in any uh, ceremony that is done in the church. That's right. So now we're gonna open up with the Lord's prayer. You ready? Yes, sir. Go ahead and read it. After this, uh, after this manner, therefore, I pray, our Father which art in heaven, mm-hmm. hallowed be Thy name. Mm-hmm. Thy kingdom come. Mm-hmm. Thy will be done in earth. Go ahead. As it is in heaven. Mm-hmm. Give us this day our daily bread, mm-hmm. and forgive us of our debts, mm-hmm. as we forgive our debtors. Mm-hmm. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Mm-hmm. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. In Jesus', Jesus name. name. Amen. Right. Amen. Now, right. because it's a mock wedding, brothers and sisters, we don't have, well, Sister Miser, we don't have a, a, a person standing here that's going to give her away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Brother Ray, to step up, and when I ask Brother Ray, would you would you give her away? And Brother Ray say he gonna say, yeah, I give the sister away, and then we're gonna continue on because this is how it's supposed to go. So now I'm gonna start off, and I'm gonna start off with uh, uh, the, my opening, and my opening is dearly beloved of Jesus, family and friends, because you know you know what I love about a wedding and what people don't pay attention to is they invite everybody. Yes. They invite their family, their friends, cousins, great cousins, grand great grandmas come from down from Mississippi Behave, and all great. that. And they all come. Behave. But what the people that's getting married don't realize is if somebody go off and commit adultery or steal or do something they ain't got no business, uh-huh. and, and they get a and they get a divorce or, 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 or something like that, what they don't realize all them people that they invited to the wedding come on, is gonna be a witness against them. Ooh. Because they're going to take a vow to the Lord in front of all these people. Come on, come on. And people don't realize that all them people are going to be a witness against them. All 250 people that came to the wedding. All 2,000 people that came to the wedding. (laughs) They're going to be a witness against them. Now, dearly beloved of Jesus, family and friends, we are gathered here in the sight of God to celebrate one of the happiest moments in the lives of Sister Maja and, and Brother Andre in holy matrimony. Marriage is a holy and honorable estate instituted by God yes. in the beginning. Yes. Marriage represents the union between Jesus and his church. Mm. See, this is this is something. We are tying you together in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Right. And, and one thing I did mention, the Israel of God is a Jesus, Jesus church. Team Jesus. Because a lot of people don't deal with the name, but we understand the power. That's, That's right. right. The name. That's no right. the name, brother. So now, can I get Sister Maja and I can get Brother Andre to come up here and stand before you, brothers and sisters. I'm going to move this over there. Okay. And sisters and brothers, you're tuning in to a live edition of the Bomb Gilead. Tonight's episode, Wedding Vows, brought to you by our minister, Brother Greg Taylor. Yes. And can I get Brother Ray to come over here and just get in the shot by Andre? And I'm going to read something, and then I'm going to dismiss you, Brother Ray. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Come All right. Come a little bit Ray. more? Okay. Is that good? Okay. Now, before I continue, if anyone can show just cause why these two should not be married in the sight of God mm. and in the sight of all these witnesses, let them speak now or else hereafter forever hold a peace. Wow. So now we ain't got nobody be. You know, getting involved and saying, no, we don't want them to get married because some other woman is there with Dre. Did somebody say something out there? Who said something? We hope they did. Okay. Now, we're going to start in Genesis, the second chapter. I want you to go to Genesis 2. Yes, sir. Brother brother, uh, Ray? Yes. uh, Do you give this woman to this man to be married to him? I do. Thank you, brother. You can go and have a seat. Thank you, brother. Because you didn't lock them in, brother Ray. All right, all right. (laughs) Genesis. Chapter 2. Yes, sir. And we're going to pick this up, and I need to grab my sword, because we are a Bible reading class. They fighting already? Okay. No, they not. No, they not. Okay. <laughs> don't even start. <laughs> All right. So now, All right. Hey, you know, this is a serious, this is serious business. Like share right. and post. That's okay, right. so we're going we gonna to start this off. Ooh, I'm so sorry. We're going to start this off in Genesis 2 and 7. Genesis 2, and we're going to start this off at verse 7. 2 and 7. What does it say, brother? 
And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground mm -hmm. and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Go ahead. And man became a living soul. And man became yes. a living soul. Skip down to verse 18 and read that for me, brother. What does it say? And the Lord God said, it is not good for that man should be alone. Uh -huh. now, will... now, he says it's not good for man to be alone. Right. right. First, he said he made man a living soul. Right. So he said it's not good for man to be alone. Right. Right. I'm saying that because we're trying to show that a marriage is between a man and a woman. That's right. Not between two women or two men, uh -huh. according to the scripture. Praise the Lord. You got right. any, and, and we are not a hateful class or church. It's just that we believe that God did it this way, and that's why I am not making fun of anybody, but according to the scripture. And as you're going to see, yes. that marriage is between a man and a woman. You do what you will. You take your chances when you stand before the Lord. So now, skip down to verse, uh, did you finish 18? I did not. Finish it. And the Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. Mm -hmm. I will make him a help meet for him. Uh-huh. Uh, skip down to verse 21 and continue. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. Uh -huh. And he slept. Go ahead. And he took one of his ribs and clothed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man Made yeah, he, he a, a woman, woman. Uh -huh. and brought her unto the man. Go ahead. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. Go ahead. She shall be called woman uh -huh. because she was taken out of man. Now, right. you can hold her hand now since you're doing all that bebop. You can hold her hand. There you go. And look in the eyes, okay. smile at it and all that. Go ahead, read. <laughs> Therefore, shall a man leave his father and his mother, That's right. and shall cleave unto his wife, uh -huh. and they shall be one flesh. Cleave unto his what? His wife. His wife. His wife. His wife. That's woman. right. So now, and cleave unto his wife. Let's go to Mark the 10th chapter. Mark 10. That's Let's right. Let's go to Mark 10. Because you are supposed to cleave to your wife, and you're supposed to leave father and mother out of this. Y'all hear me? I'm talking to you today. Yes, sir. Y'all supposed to be looking at me. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. So... Y'all, so you supposed to leave father and mother. You are not supposed to let uh, your mother get in your business, and you're not supposed to let your parents get in your business. Because your parents are going to side with you every time. That's and right. your parents are going to side with you. That's so right. we're going to keep them out of this. That's right. Read Mark chapter 10. Yes. And I want you to pick it up at verse 9. Look what it say here. That Mark 10, because this is, this is, a, wit this is a witness. I'm the Lord's witness. Yes. And they're going to make some vows, and we're going to explain that. Mark 10 and 9. What does it say, brother? What therefore God has joined together. Yes. Let not man put asunder. See, he told you don't get nobody in your business. So not so what God has joined. Right. Let no man come asunder, right? right. So now, we're going to get, gonna finish on. Ain't that what it says, Judas? That's read what that it verse, says. Read that Again, verse Mark 10 and 9. Go ahead. What therefore God has joined together. Yes. Let not man put asunder. Let not man put asunder. Hmm. So now. Let's go to let's go to the charge. I'm going to charge you both. I, Brother Greg, a minister of the Israel of God's church, I charge you as a watchman of God, I require and charge you both that this institution is holy and lawful. God said, be ye holy, for I, the Lord, your God, am holy. Yes, sir. Now, let's go to Deuteronomy, the 23rd chapter. Deuteronomy 23. Because you two, look what you let a hand go. <laughs> Hold a hand. You, you, we tied y'all together. This is y'all being tied together for real. I don't know if popcorn married y'all, but you, this ain't popcorn today. We gon' we gonna do this thing right. So now, Deuteronomy twenty three and twenty one. Twenty three, and we are gonna pick it up at verse twenty. Usually, I have a podium, so yes, I'm sir, not bro. I'm not stumble bumming, you know, like I'm doing now. You're but hey, good, this bro. is the all, all right, good. all Bring right. Twenty three and twenty one. 23 and 21. What does it say, Brother Julius? When thou shalt bow a vow unto the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. thou shalt not slack to pay it. Yes. For the Lord thy God will surely require of thee. Yes, so you and see that? Now, when y'all vow, you cannot slack to pay this vow. You, Your word is your bond. Continue to read. And it would be sin in thee. Go ahead. But if thou shalt forbear to vow, it shall be no sin in thee. So if you don't take this vow, the Lord can't hold you to nothing. And that's what he's saying. Continue to read. That which is going out of thy lips, thou shalt keep and perform, uh -huh. even a free will offering. Yes. According as thou hast vowed unto the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which thou hast promised with, with thy, thy mouth. mouth. So you're going to vow this with your mouth. And you make, you're going to make these covenants of promise. So now let's go, let's go to Numbers, the 30th chapter. 
Numbers 30. See, this is how it is done. It is done in decent and in order, and you are going to make a covenant. Yes. And the covenant that you're actually making is you're promising to keep for to God you're going to keep the commandments. That's right. By myself. No, but you are the man. That's I'm why you're on my it. right. And you're she going to make it too. Both of you. But That's I'm looking right. up, but I'm talking to you because right. you're the man. You're the man. Yeah. I'm gonna turn and talk to her, okay. but I'm talking to you. Come don't on, get don't get scared me. now. Talk to me. <laughs> so now he do all that talk. He getting scared now. No, I'm do, uh, Numbers thirty. I'm in it. In verse one. Numbers uh, thirty and verse one. What does it say, brother? And Moses spake unto the heads of the tribes concerning the children of Israel, saying, Go ahead. This is the thing which the Lord has commanded. Mm -hmm. If a man vow a vow unto the Lord, yes. or swear an oath to bind his soul with a bond, uh -huh. he shall not break his word. Go ahead. He shall do according to all that proceeded out of his mouth. Y'all hear that? Yes, See, this sir. is how this go. Now, mm -hmm. a vow. A vow is defined as a solemn promise or a pledge that binds a person to perform a specific act or to behave in a certain manner. So that's that's what a vow is. Serious. So now, mm -hmm. talking to you, brother. Andre. Yes, sir. Come on. Okay, Come brother Andre. Yes. Will you have this woman, Misha, to be your to be your wife, to live together after God's holy ordinance in a state of holy matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health? Forsaking, pay attention, forsaking all others and give yourself only to her mm -hmm. as long as you live. Yes, I okay. do. All right. So, Samaya, yes, <laughs> will you take this man, Andre, to be your husband? Yes. To live together after God's holy ordinance in the state of holy matrimony? Will. will you love him, comfort him, oh, yes. honor and keep him? In sickness and in health, and forsaken all others, and give yourself only to him as long as you live. Yes, sir. I okay, do. so now you both have made that vow to one another with God in this because I'm his representative. So now, a covenant. A covenant is defined as an agreement between two people that involve a promise on the part of of each other. See, that's what that's what a covenant is. And you gotta always have that in mind when you two are married. Well, like the book say, don't have nobody involved in your in your in your uh, in your marriage and always consult with each other. Mm -hmm. If you get into an argument, just go point it out, point it back, and work this out together. Now Amen. Brother Andre, I want you to say, look look your wife in the eye. Well she ain't your wife just yet. She's but I want you to look in, 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 in the eye wife, and repeat after me. I, Andre. Yes, sir. I, Andre. I, Andre. Promise to take my. Promise to take my. To be my wife. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. Brother Andre, this is a model. Y'all be real. You can just. <laughs> okay. So, thank so, thank y'all. We married. For, what, for better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To mm -hmm. death do us part. To death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. Ain't that something? Them, them words is really powerful. I just feel hey, like hey, this, hey, is so hey, real. Oh, this is it, so real. This is so real. Powerful. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Sister Major. I want you to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. I might. I might. Pro promise to take on. Promise to take on. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forth. From this day forth. For better. For better. Or for worse. Or for worse. See, a lot of people, when we get to that part, they be thinking, oh, well, if he loses his job, <laughs> I can kick him to the curb or so. But, but according to the vow or the so covenant of the promise, worse. you can't do that. For it's better. Hard. Or for worse, for this day forward, go from ahead. This day forward, for richer, for richer, or for poor, or for poor, in sickness, in sickness and in health, and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance, according to God's holy ordinance. There you go. So now, the ring, you guys got the rings? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, the rings are a token. 
The rings are a token of the covenant of promise that you just made to each other. It is an outward sign to all that you are married to each other. So now, I want you to place your uh, mind you uh, bring your uh, forefinger over that ring. See, this is how we do it, brothers and sisters, at the Israel of God. We make sure that they're married, and, and, and their words is what's going to uh, bless them, or their words is going to hurt you. So now, Mind you, put his ring on the fourth finger of his left hand. And you both going to repeat after me. As I place this, oh, 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 hey. as, as I place this ring on your finger, as I place this, both of you, as, as I, I place, place this ring on your finger, finger I vow to love you, I vow to love and you, keep you, and keep you, and keep you, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. All right, they did that right on key. All right. So now, let's go to Ephesians. The uh, fifth chapter, Ephesians 5. Ephesians, the fifth chapter. As I said, this is a mock wedding. So now we're just showing you that this is how it should be done. So now, Ephesians 5 and verse 20. Ephesians 5, and we're going to pick it up at verse People 20. are saying congratulations, y'all. Wow. Ephesians 5 Thank and you. verse 20. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate that. Ephesians 5 and verse 20. It is a mock. I just wanted you guys to hear the the vows that a person takes when they actually get get married because the lord is involved ephesians 5 and 20 what does it say brother give me thanks always for all things unto god and the father in the name of our lord jesus christ uh-huh submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of god yes wives now you see what it say submitting yourselves one to another go ahead and read wives Submit yourselves unto your own husband yes. as unto the Lord. Go ahead. For the husband is the head of the wife, mm -hmm. even as Christ is the head of the church. Even as Christ is the head of the church. So now you're supposed to submit yourself to that, brother. So now, go ahead, skip down to verse... Uh, and verse, he is uh, the Savior of the body. I'm doing the wedding. I'm doing the wedding. I, get you, I got you. Verse 25. Verse 25. Go ahead. Husbands, mm -hmm. love your wives. Love your wife. Even as Christ also loved the church uh -huh. and gave himself for it. Go ahead. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Skip down to verse 28 and continue. So are men to love their wives as their own bodies. Uh -huh. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. Yes. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, mm -hmm. but nourish it and cherish it, even as the Lord the church. Yes, That's sir. Right. So nourish it right. and right. cherish it. Skip down to verse 31. And read 31 and 32 for me, brother. What does it say? For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother Go ahead. and shall be joined to his wife. He said it again, didn't he? Yes, sir. He leave father and mother and join to his wife. Not not two women, not two men, to his wife. Read on. What else does it say? And they too shall be one flesh. Now check this out. Go ahead. This is a great mystery. But I speak concerning Christ and the church. Uh-huh. Nevertheless, Go ahead. let every one of you in particular, so love his wife, yes. even as himself. And the wife see that she reverence her, her husband. husband. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? She is supposed to reverence you in all things. So now let's go to 1 Corinthians, the 7th chapter. 1 Corinthians 7. See, this is, these are the things that should be said at a wedding. So that when they get married, when, they, when you leave from here, you know, if this was an actual wedding, this is something that, that you should rejoice in. Yes. Rejoice in the scripture. And these about are this. things that should be done in a wedding. They, these they, should, they be, should done be done yes. in life, yes. in marriage. But they everybody, should be done. There, there's yes. going to be, there's That's a lake right. of fire, right? That's, That's right. going to come up. Yes. So yes. so those that don't do it, yes. going to get that, going to get that. And those that do, is going to be saved at the time of appointment. Yes. It should, a lot of stuff should be done. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, this man refuse to obey the Lord. Just right. like this this thing has ex exploded with this homosexuality. Man, that on. is not uh oh, that that is not it's move, not move forward a little bit, y'all. Move forward a little bit. So now, uh verse two. First Corinthians seven and verse two. What does it say, brother? Nevertheless, to avoid fornication. Now avoid fornication, go ahead. Let every man have his own wife. So now avoid you going out there. Fornication is that the, the sexual act itself. So let every to avoid it, let every man 
uh, get his own wife. Read on. And let every woman have her, her own, own husband. husband. Go ahead and read. Let the husband render unto the wife do benevolence. Do benevolence. Love and kindness. Go ahead and read. And likewise also the wife unto the husband. Go ahead. The wife has not power of her own body. The wife, now, you don't, now your body don't belong to you no more. Your body belongs to him. And his body belongs to you. Finish that. The wife has not power of her own body, yes. but the husband. Yes. And likewise, also the husband have power, have not power of his own body, but that? the wife. But the wife. That's you right. see what I'm saying? Sir. Read on, read another. Defraud ye not one the other. See, when right. you start that foolishness, mm -hmm. and, and, and you mad at him for something that has nothing to do with nothing, but then you're going to withhold yourself from him. You are defrauding him. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and likewise with you. Absolutely. She didn't made you mad. You decide, I'm going out and get some. But she is all looking beautiful, smelling good. Oh, don't hold you back. know it's the time of love. It's right a PG here. show, bro. It's oh. the time of love. So that's 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 why the preacher should just be talking. So so now okay. this is the time of love. So now what verse are you? We have verse five. Read that. Again, defraud ye not one the other. Yes. Except it be with consent for a time. Yes. That you may give yourself to fasting and prayer. See, it's consent. You you guys uh, it's consensual that ain't nothing going on tonight. Come so on, now, man. go ahead and read. And come together again. Yes. That Satan tip you not for your incontinency. There you go. So Satan don't want, you don't want Satan to get in your bed. Inconsistency. Right. So now once y'all angry with one another, then you decide, well, I'm tired of her foolishness. Then you go out, Satan got in your mind, he's playing with your mind. Or she, he plays with her mind. Mm. And then that's how he plays with you. So we don't want to do nothing like that. Read on, <laughs> verse 6, what does it say? But I speak this by permission yes. and not a commandment. Go ahead. Right. For I will that all men were as even as I myself. Go ahead. But every man had this proper gift of God. Go ahead. When after this man... Notice how he keeps saying every man had this proper gift of God. That's why I be looking at you when, when we doing these weddings. So because you are the brother. head of the house. When the Lord made man, he made you first then. Yeah, and right. then he took the one, he took the rear, he used that as an example. He took the rear from you because he wanted the world to know she belongs to you. Yes. Yeah. So now, read on, read some more. But every man have his proper gift of God, yes. one after this manner and right. another after that. Because, like I said, that's, that is some symbolism. Mm -hmm. because, because he could have just made another one. So he took the rear from you and brought her forth to let you know that she belongs to you. Read on, read some more, brother. Verse 8. I say, therefore, to the unmarried and widows, mm -hmm. it is good for them if they abide even as I. Go ahead. But if they cannot contain. Now, if you can't contain. Now, he had said earlier about, he said, nevertheless, to avoid fornication. Then. Right. Mm -hmm. He said, but now, if you can't contain, what he say? Let them marry. Ain't that something? Go ahead. For it is better to marry than to burn. Ain't that something? Let's go to, Mark. Let's go to Matthew, Matthew, the uh, 19th chapter. Matthew 19. Brother Grady is saying this is awesome, brother. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord, every, is, the Lord is awesome. Needs to see this. The Lord it. is awesome. Absolutely. Like, share, and post, sisters and brothers. The Lord is awesome. Sister, brother, you just now tuning in to the Bomb of Gilead Internet Radio. We are doing a mock wedding here between brother uh, Mais, uh, brother Andre and sister Mai. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, the Lord is using Ooh. brother Greg to perform the service for us. Yes. And he's giving us an example how we should... Get married, and he's giving us an example of the wedding vow. And we should live. You got time to kiss her. Marriage vow. I'm sorry. No, don't, the don't marriage kiss, vow. Don't kiss her no more until I give you the go. <laughs> this, is, this is a marriage now. So now, we're going to start at verse 3. We're going to start at verse 3. Yeah, that's right, baby. Wipe it off. <laughs> verse 3. Matthew he, 19. We're going to have time. We're going to have time to you all, all the whole time. Now, we're going to have time for that. So now, verse uh, uh, 19 and 3. 19 and 3. What does it say, brother? The Pharisees also came unto him, tempting him, uh -huh. and saying unto him, uh -huh. Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? Ain't that something he said for every cause? What else he say? And he answered and said unto them, uh -huh. Have you not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? Uh -huh. And said, For this cause shall a man leave father uh -oh, and mother. Oh, this is the third time you mm. didn't read that. Read on some more. For this cause shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave to his right. wife. And they twain shall be one flesh. Go ahead, brother. Wherefore, they are no more twain but one flesh. Uh-huh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man put asunder. Go ahead, brother. They said unto him, Why did Moses then command to give a right of divorce? Go ahead. And to put her away. Now, look what he said, though. This is the key. Look what he's. This is the whole reason. Now, in the very beginning, there was nothing about 
a divorce nothing. from the very beginning. Nothing. But look what the Lord said in verse 8. What did, what did he say, brother? He said unto them. Now, now he, the question is, why did he give them a, 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 a writing Moses. of divorce? Why did Moses give them a writing of divorce? What did he say? He said to them, Moses, because of the hardness of your hearts. Your hearts, he said. You couldn't get along. Somebody's fighting somebody. Somebody's cheating on something. Come on, Greg. From the hardness of your heart. We know. Man, he said, Moses, because of the hardness of your heart, uh -huh. suffered you to put away your wife. Go ahead. But from the beginning, it, it was, was not, not so. so. Ain't that something? Right. Because when he brought he brought you forth and took the rear from the um, took the rear from you and made the sister, it was nothing about a divorce. It wasn't even no marriage ceremony then. They just said, This is my he said, This is my wife. Flesh of his flesh. Verse 9, what it say, brother? And I say unto you. What he say? Whosoever shall put away his wife. See, that just don't cover hmm. Israel. Whosoever. whosoever. That cover the stranger. Whosoever. That covers the Hamite. Anybody. Whosoever shall put away his wife. Go ahead, Junior. Except it be for fornication. Except she go out and step out on you. And actually sleep with another man. Go ahead and read. And she'll marry another? Uh-huh. Committed adultery. So if she happened to do that, and then she, y'all separate for a while, and she marry another dude, she didn't commit adultery, and she didn't cause that man to commit adultery yeah. as well. You, you see that? You see how important it is when you get locked in to a marriage? Absolutely. Go ahead and refinish that. And whoso married her, which is put away, do commit adultery. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. So the person... That might not even know that she was married to you. He commits adultery as well. See, this marriage thing is is it will lock you all the way in. It will lock you in. Let's go to and the brother asked me when I told him we was gonna do the show, he asked me, can a sister put away her husband? Let's go to Mark the 10th chapter. Let's go to Mark 10. Come on. Teach Greg. Let's go to Mark 10. Tonight's right, episode, brother. sisters and because brothers, this is wedding the word vows. of the living God. This is the, this is the word. And see, at this brother God, we believe this is the word of the living God. That's why we read everything. This if you ever watch this program and you have saw Ray you being teach, he teach from the heart and from the heart of this book. You yes, everybody that come on this show, they teach you. That's why I said this is the greatest internet show. In the world today, Praise the because Lord. we teach by subject and title. Anything you need to know, you watch this show, and at some point, they're gonna run across it, and you're gonna find it out. Praise the Lord. This is the Lord's internet show, and He has moved us forward. Mark ten and two, ten and two. What does it say, brother? And the Pharisees came to him and asked him, "Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife?" Uh huh. Tempting him. Go ahead. And he answered and said unto them. What did Moses command you? See, we all, we, we, we're doing the same thing we did in Matthew 19. Read on, though. Check it and out. And they said, Moses suffered to write a bill of divorcement uh -huh. and to put her away. Go ahead. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Why? For the hardness of your heart, he wrote you this precept. precept. You see that? From the hardness of this man's heart, he wrote that precept. And I think it's Deuteronomy 23. You can go back and read it there. Yeah. From the hardness of your heart. Read on. What else is say? Verse 6. But from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. God made them what? Male and female. Male and female. Not female and female. Come on, Greg. Or male and male. Teach. This is the word of the living God. Right. What else is say? For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother uh -huh. and cleave to his wife. He said it again. Leave father and mother and cleave to his wife. Because that's where your help, that's where your strength is. If you got a tight relationship, that is where your strength lies with your mate. Whatever you need, she should be there for you. What verse are you? We have verse 8. Continue. And they twain shall be, be one, one flesh. flesh. Go ahead. So then they are no more twain but one flesh. But you are no more twain but one flesh. That's right. Because once you get married, you take on his name. And y'all are one. Continue to read, brother. What else is say? What therefore God has joined together, let not man put asunder. Go ahead. And in the house, his disciples asked him again of the same matter. And he said unto them, uh -huh. Whosoever shall put away his wife uh -huh. and marry another committed adultery against her. Uh -huh. Go ahead. And if a woman shall put away her husband. Uh-oh. If a woman 
shall put away Come her on, husband. Greg. Go ahead and read. If a woman shall put away her husband uh -huh. and be married to another, she committed adultery. Because it is fair up and down the road. It Man, wouldn't be fair if you if you committed right. adultery and then she can commit adultery. It would be wrong. Both of you are dead wrong. Mm -hmm. So a wife can put her husband away, but you better put him away for the right reason. Yes. You got to know that he had committed adultery on you or he fornicated on you. You got to know that. Now, let's go to Malachi. Let's go to Malachi, the uh, second chapter. I think that's why. Well, we got a question here. Go ahead and, and, and answer. Just to say, what if your husband leave after 17 years? Then, then he's gone and ain't nothing she can do about it. If After he's gone for so long, then she can move on with her life. But she is supposed to wait and see if he might come back and reconcile with with, with her. But she she got to put some time in uh, and wait. Go to 1 Corinthians 7. Talk to and, us. And she, she, can, she can read She can read it right there. That's right. She got she to gotta wait a little bit. Okay. But if he go, he move to California. Take all this stuff, and he ain't coming back. She can move on with her life because she he ain't coming back. So now, let's go to uh, Malachi chapter two. Well, sister, I hope that answers your question. And we're gonna pick that up at verse fourteen when I get there. Malachi chapter two, and we're gonna pick this up at verse fourteen because this is real important. Yes. Now the Lord is gonna weigh in on your man. We're gonna pick it up at verse fourteen. Verse 14, what does it say, brother? Yet you say, wherefore? Because the Lord has been witness between thee and the wife of thy youth. See what I'm saying? He is a witness between you and the wife of your youth. Go ahead and read. Against whom you have dealt treacherously. Yes. Yet is she thy companion. She is and your the... companion, and you done dealt treacherously against her. Because he always put the onus on you. Not, not that I'm picking. It's just that you the head. Yes. And some families... If, if somebody kicked the door in and break it in the house, the husband gets under the bed. What kind of dude is that? What? <laughs> and then he got the wife going in there trying to battle it out with the dude. What? You know what I'm saying? So the Lord is letting you know he is the man of the house. You know what I'm saying? The husband That's crawls right. under the bed. What he, kind he, of? He, he, you know, he crawls That's under right. the bed. Guess, and and and, and, and baby, go go handle that. What, what kind, kind of dude is that? Folly is that? Coward, brother. That's right. definitely. So now. That's why the Lord put the onus on the man. You That's see right. what I'm saying? So now, did you finish 14? No, I did not. Finish it. Yet is she thy companion and the wife of thy covenant. Go, the wife of that covenant that they made, right? Yes, sir. Go ahead, read some more. And did not he make one? Yes. Yet he had Yet had he the residue the of, of the, the spirit. spirit. Uh -huh. And wherefore one? That he might seek a godly seed. Uh -huh. Therefore take heed to your spirit and let none deal treacherously against the wife of his youth. You see how he keeps saying it like the, the, he's talking to him? Yeah. The wife of don't deal treacherously against her. Work it out the best you can. Verse 16, what does it say? For the Lord, the God of Israel. Here he go, here he go. The Lord, the God of I'm just a witness, but the Lord, the God of Israel. What did he say, Julius? Said that he hated Put it away. Go ahead. For one covereth violence with his garment, said the Lord of hosts. Uh huh. Therefore, take heed to your spirit that you deal not treacherously. Ain't that some deal not treacherously? Let's go to Leviticus twenty. Oh my Leviticus God. Leviticus twenty. Oh deal not. Don't deal treacherously with her. And okay. if you've been with your wife for some time or your husband for some time, make it happen. Make it work. Make it work. I don't care what you have to do. Make it work. Come Agreed. home, have a dinner together, and 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 and. Other things that sisters and brothers could do to make it work. Yes, sir. Yeah, I know yeah. how to cook. Okay, then you cook sometime. Okay. We got Go another ahead. comment. We got a question. Go ahead. What happens if someone objects during the ceremony? Then we got we to gotta stop the ceremony and find out what's going on because the person, the man or the woman that objected could have just slept with one or the other. What? So we have to find Ooh. out what's Ooh. going on. Uh, yeah. uh, the question is, Thank are you married? If you lay together, have sex. Right? No, 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 no. You're not married if you just sit down and and, and, and bounce around in the water bed. No, you are not married. You have to, like the book, what, what does it say? It says, uh, matter of fact, let's see if we can find that. We're going to come back to that, Julius. Okay. Let's go to Exodus 16. I think it's Exodus 16. And we're going to go over there, and we're going to read. That's that's when it says, uh, uh he talks about how a man, he endowed her to be his wife. Yeah. Ain't that Exodus 16? Yeah. 
Find it for me, brother. Find that for me. No. No, it's not Exodus. It's not Freaky Girl. But the man take a, uh, a young maid. Yes. Yeah, I think that's... Uh, was that Deuteronomy, was Deuteronomy 16. 16, right? Deuteronomy 16. You know, we're going to do this just to uh -huh. answer the question. I think it's Deuteronomy. And then he, he said you're supposed to endow her. That's right. To be your wife. That's right. Y'all y'all just bounced around for a while. But you're supposed to make the commitment. I can't find it right now, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. But, uh... uh. Maybe it's twenty three. Maybe it's twenty three. Nineteen. Let's try Exodus, Exodus nineteen. Let's check try that Exodus out. Check, check it out. Check I that believe out. that's what we want. Uh, check it out. Let's see. That's his twenty two. I think. It is. I thought. I thought yeah. it was something like that. Exodus, Exodus twenty two. Twenty two. What? Eighteen. That's right. That's right. Exodus twenty two. And sixteen. Yeah. Yeah, because I thought it was something like that. I knew it was a sixteen in there. So now we're gonna read that Jewish Exodus twenty two. And they getting tired standing up here, brothers and sisters, so we still going to be here for a minute. <laughs> Exodus 6, 22 it's all good. and verse 16. What does what it say, brother? And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed mm -hmm. and lie with her. Now, he didn't lay with her. Go ahead. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. So an agreement had to be made, right? He's got to endow her to be his wife. Now, we, we do not promote promiscuous activity in the Israel of God. So sex. none of that. That's so right, right. what we do is we we try to uh, uh, point to uh, going through this the right way, marrying a person. But it say you supposed to endow her. He didn't lay with her now, according to what we just read. Yep. So he was supposed to endow her to be his wife. They both sit down and have an agreement. We are gonna get married. You know, right. we didn't we didn't date it. We didn't been we'll together. Can we read verse seventeen, please? Read, read, go ahead and read seventeen, Julius four. If her father utterly refused to give her to him, mm -hmm. he shall pay money according to the dowry of virgins. Mm -hmm. So even if her father stand up and say, I don't want to give this man to, to my daughter, then he has to pay what the father requires. In America, they don't do they that. They don't do that in America. They don't do that in America. You got to abide by the laws right, of the land. On. We're not going right. to go back to Moses' that's day right. and all that. But we got to abide by the laws that's, of that's the right. land. They that's don't right. do that. And, and that might be a good idea. To uh, uh, you know, to have some kind of interaction with her family. That's right. So, so now let's go to uh, let's let's go to uh, Leviticus. I think I said Leviticus twenty. Twenty. Mm -hmm. Leviticus twenty. I want you to read verse ten. Leviticus twenty and verse ten. See, it takes some intestinal fortitude to be married alone. It does, brother. Mm -hmm. You know, so. it ain't this ain't something that you it's just lightly. you just do lightly and take lightly. Mm -hmm. You you have to learn each other. Yeah. You have to learn. I've been married over 30 years. You you have to learn how yes. to love her, her good ways and her bad ways. And she got to learn how to love your good ways and your bad ways. Uh, hey, what I say? Leviticus 20? Yes, sir. And 10. What does it say, brother? And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, uh -huh. even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, uh -huh. the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. See, that's a penalty. And let's see why. Let's go to Deuteronomy 22. And 22. Look, uh, Deuteronomy 22 and 22. Because this that is the penalty for doing something, laying with your neighbor's wife or laying with somebody else's wife. That is the penalty. 22, Wait. and we're going to pick it up in Deuteronomy 22 and verse 22. So, Greg, we, as we move along, we got the, another reply to that question. Okay, after, this... after he reads this, and okay. then you, we, you hit me with that. All right, no problem. 22 and 22. What, what does it say, brother? If a man be found lying with a woman mm -hmm. married to a husband, mm -hmm. then they shall both of them die. Go ahead. Both the man that lay with the woman and the woman. So, so tell them why. So shall thou put away evil from Israel. So evil, Israel is a church. So we, if, if we can't get it right, the world won't be able to get it right. So now, let's go to Joshua. Let's go to Joshua, the first chapter. Joshua 1. And we're, we're about done with this. I mean, did you want to... Um, yeah, I got two questions. Go so ahead. the sister's question replied to the first one and said uh, she had been uh, separated from her husband. Mm -hmm. And she said it's three years. Three, they've been separated three years. Mm -hmm. Is that long enough? That's what she's trying to say. They've been separated three years? Yes. I think it's long enough. But there is nothing that I can give her in the book to that's, show that's right. why, I mean, how long you should be. But you I should have take that. some time so you don't make no mistake. Now, I, I have seen so. a couple, excuse me, I have seen a couple that they separated, 
And they were separated for a year or two. But the brother ended up realizing that he still loved his wife. Mm-hmm. And he ended up starting a relationship. And then he ended up going back. The wife was sick too. Mm-hmm. And he ended up going back to her. Mm-hmm. But he hurt the other sister. Yeah. That can happen. That's why you got to wait until you know for sure so you don't hurt anybody. Mm-hmm. And you don't have to repent for things that you've done. So, so, sister, uh, to answer your question, you can read uh, 1 Corinthians 7, chapter, Absolutely. and start at verse 10, and it tells you uh, if you depart, then uh, remain or marry and reconcile with your husband. You can read that yourself yes. Uh, yes. on your own time. One more question, Go and ahead, we can move Go on. Go ahead. Sister, what if you live in a state that declares a couple a common law, married after six months of living together, do they still need to go get papers and uh, as required by the law state? The I would, the, yes, I would do get the papers because what if one of you die? Come on, and Rick. then the family, yes. let's say, let's say the husband died. Then, then the family, his family, can come and remove all the stuff out of the house. That common law marriage do not work because if one of you pass on, the family can come and take all the stuff that you two acquired together. Come on, Greg. Because that is the law of the land. Come, if you're gonna be married, be married. That's right. That's Stand right. before the justice of the peace. Get your license. So we can track the brother down if he try to break out <laughs> and run. We're going right. to track him down. The Lord said do all things decent and, 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 right. and, and, and we're going to track him down with decent police <laughs> and in order. So and drag him back home the way he's supposed to be. Because now there's, good, but y'all know it's a story in Deuteronomy 23 yeah. where the dude, after he whipped the woman, he yeah. came up with a railing accusation. And then they took him to the elders and the elders whooped the dude, mm-hmm. find him money, and put him right back in the house. Mm-hmm. So... That was something that Israel was doing. So now, Joshua, chapter 1. And we're going to pick this up at verse 7. Joshua, chapter 1. And we're going to pick this up at verse 7. Because, like I said, to be married, it takes some real strength. It takes some real intestinal fortitude. Because sometimes you're going to do something that she ain't going to like, and she's going to bite a hole in her tongue to keep from jumping you. And sometimes she's going to do something that you don't like. And you're going to do the same thing. So you have to learn how to take a deep breath, walk away, and then come back and fix whatever's broken. Yes. That takes time. You got to learn how to be quiet. You know, you got to learn how to be quiet sometimes. That's a heck of a question. Thank you, know? you, brother. So now, verse 7. What does it say, Julius? Only be thou strong and very courageous. See what it say? Be strong and courageous. Go ahead. That thou mayest observe to do according to all the law. Which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left. You see what he said? Don't turn to the right or to the left. Go ahead, read. That thou mayest prosper with the whithsoever thou goest. Uh-huh. That you may prosper wherever you go. Go ahead, read. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. And always, always refer to the Bible when you're having a, some yes. problems. Try to find a situation or contact a minister, a real minister. To find out if you're right or wrong or whatever. Because you're going to need all the help you can get. Because you two are totally different. And you have to learn how to, to live with the difference. Read on. Read some more. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Yes. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written, written therein. therein. Go ahead. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Uh-huh. And then thou shalt have good success. Ain't that some? One more. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Yes. Be not afraid. No. Neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord, thy God, is with thee whithersoever thou goest. Y'all see that? That's Woo! God is with you. Praise the Lord. No matter what you do. Now, now we're going to close out. One uh, more question. Go ahead. Go ahead. The sister said, what if your husband's in prison for 88 years? 88 years? That's a long time. So so now she's asking if he's, in, if he's in prison for 88 years, is she still married to him? Yes. Is that what she's asking? Yes. Yes. But he he did something to you know he did something to go to prison for right so she and if she visited him and all that yeah she's still married to him you know so she said she can't depart from him she's not supposed to depart from him. that's her husband okay all eighty eight right. years long. so they've been married eighty eight years too <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying yeah. so, so, so why why leave she if 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 they've been together eighty eight years she got to be a hundred and two. And he got to be about 107. You know what I'm saying? So where they going to go? So you might as well just hang on in there, sister. So next question, we can get on out of here, Greg. We got a lot of questions today. That's all right. Hold on. Hold on a second. I got it. 
I got to deal with this here. All right. Now, by the power <laughs> invested in me, by the Lord God of Israel, yes. creator of heaven and earth. That's yes. right. And the state, and you always got to do state of Illinois. Yeah, yeah. And the state of Illinois, yeah. I now pronounce you in the name of the Lord Jesus, husband and wife. Brother Andre, you may kiss your bride now. All right, all right, all right. That's good. Right. Now, PG. You can go. You two can go. Thank you so much for standing in. Thank and God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, make your chair back. Over all right, all right. Then, Andre, would you give me that chair, yeah. please? Now, what's the question, brother? All right, so the question is uh, the same as a follow up from the first question about the common law. Okay. He said, just a, a question. I live in a common law state which does not require paper to marry. But what, what state is she in? Uh, what's, sister, can you give us a state? Uh, sister Tina Inez oh. Peely May. Uh, give us a state, please. She said, but it does require paper for the same couple to divorce. Mm -hmm. So you don't need a paper to get married, but you need a divorce certificate. Wow. Mm -hmm. She needs to make sure she's in that common law state because it's not many. Because I checked on, I checked on uh, uh, Michigan. Michigan is not a common law state. It is not. And when you go online. She's in Texas. She's in Texas. So. She needs to go online and just look at the rules and regulations of that. But why deal with common law when you can get married? Well, God said the Lord. Exactly. Yes, because like I said, if 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 he died, his family can come and 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 get his stuff and fight for his stuff. All the stuff. Now they they was they was married twenty years. Let's say the fan his his brother or his mom and daddy could come get his stuff. So, so, so my question, Greg, mm -hmm. is, I know, I know the answer, but my question is for the for the general come, public to know. Come in. So, just because you live in a state that allows you to have common law marriage, mm -hmm. does the Lord God of Israel recognize that common law? He marriage? He does not. So you still not married in the sight of the Lord. In the beginning of the lesson, Jesus went to a what? A, 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 a wedding. Uh -huh. yeah. You see what I'm saying? Now, if it was good enough for Jesus, it's got to be good enough for us. That, that common law Teach thing Greg. is really not. It's, it's, it's a way of getting out of uh, uh, being locked in together. Yeah. Because somebody can just say, hey, look, I'm, I don't love you no more. I'm gone. And and they can just walk away. But when you tied to the system, mm -hmm. then y'all tied together. Y'all one flesh. You see what I'm saying? Come on, so come on, Greg. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't deal with that common law sister. What's her name? Tina. Tina sister Tina. Tina. I wouldn't deal with that common law thing. Find a minister down in Texas uh, at the Israel of God, Dallas or Houston, and, and go get married. The books that we do have to obey the laws of the land. That's what the Bible says. Because the laws of the land say you have to legally be married, sisters and brothers, to make this thing official. That's right. You have to. So That's right. just laying with each other is not good enough. You not have to still get enough. that paper. Not good enough. And some, and some, and some, and unfortunately, some brothers use that yes. to to get with the sisters. That's right. And 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 then if if he gonna, but I would think if he's gonna use that. Then he should make provisions to go on and marry. That's right. Brother. Exactly. If he's going to tell her that, because like you read, go back to that scripture, mm -hmm. that Exodus uh, 22. It said, it he, said he, he, he laid with the woman uh -huh. he first, and then it said he should endow her to be his wife. wife. So to now, be his wife. Yes. That's, what, that's brothers, what it say. Just, this, this is the instruction manual for righteousness. Bible. This is the instruction manual. Mm -hmm. Let the word of God be true in every man alive. That's right. Just do it God's way. Mm -hmm. And save yourself some, some heartache. heartache. Yeah. And some pain. And because some, you go, and you some gonna naked get, fire. You're going to get enough heartache and pain mm -hmm. in the relationship. Man. So do do as, you know, try to be, operate as one. Love each other with all your might because right around the corner, brother. This tribulation period is coming. That's right, brother. I've been watching news. Right today. around the corner. This this man of sin or this this holiest man supposedly on the planet, he wants to start a one world religion. Yes. And guess who's gonna be over it? Jeez. He gonna be. So we we need to get our game tight. We need to pray to the Lord and repent for all the stuff we've done over the years and prepare yourself for this wilderness, this place of safety. Because time is getting real short, brother. And you shouldn't be worried about no common law marriage now. Now you should be worried about making sure you, you raise up godly seeds and teach your kids yes. about the Passover and unleavened bread. Now, brothers and sisters, the Passover is coming up. So prepare yourselves for that. 
You know, if you brothers, if you're not circumcised, get yourself circumcised. Because the circumcision is the bridge between the old and the new covenant. Come on, Greg. Why do I say that, Brother Greg? It's because you can't take the Passover unless you are what? Circumcised. You see what I'm saying? That's right. So now, in the old and the new, if you're not circumcised, brothers, you cannot participate in the Passover. So now, that's why I said... We are we are a full, full service. service church, and you need to come out, ladies and gentlemen, yes. brothers and sisters. You need to come out and see for yourself, Jew or Gentile alike, strangers, oh, Hamite, whoever, you know, Hispanic. My our brothers and sisters on that side of the world, you need to come out and find a true church. Catholicism is not going to get you across the street. What was what was your last question, brother? That was it. That was it. That was the last question. That was the last question. Julius, did you have anything else? I do. Uh, uh, first of all, I want to thank Brother uh, uh, Dre and Sister Maja yes. for uh, for their helping and bringing forth. And thank you, Brother Greg. Thank you, Brother For Julius. a wonderful for lesson. Thank you. Uh, for a wonderful lesson. Oh, thank you, Brother Greg. And, and, and again, like, share, and post, sisters and brothers. And the Bible said when a man is single, the Lord is his head. Mm -hmm. When a woman is single, the Lord is, the Lord is his head. head. Right. When you Her marry, head. when you marry, uh, when you get married, the Lord is both you here. Mm -hmm. So therefore, sisters and brothers, uh, we need episodes like this because everywhere you see a sign, there's a divorce, uh, low cost divorce, and it, it, my heart breaks and it, and it, it, it just breaks, sisters and brothers, because Satan is perpetuating unholy things. So now everybody wants the free will to do what they want to do. Let's go Greg, to Revelation. Let's go to Revelation. Let's, let's close out on this scripture. Okay. Revelation 19 and 7. Revelation. Let's close out on this scripture. And again, next week, sisters and brothers, our teacher will be Brother Jeremiah. Yes. I know he got another spectacular teacher. Man. And again, thank thank you all for staying up with us and, Pick and, it up and at verse joining seven. us. Verse 7. What Revelation it say? 19 and 7. What does it say, brother? Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him. For the marriage of the Lamb is come, mm -hmm. and his wife has made herself ready. Go ahead. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, uh -huh. clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. One more. Right. And he said unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And that's what you want to be called to, the marriage supper of the Lamb. Finish it. And he said unto me, These are the true sayings of God. Amen. Right. Man. So Thank we'll, you, Julius. So thank, you, brother, brother. Thank, thank you, brother. Thank you, each and every one of you guys for coming to hang out with us. You can be anywhere in the world on Thursday, but you right here with us at the Team Bomb McGilead. Yes, yes. Sir. Sister, brother, we urge each and every one of you guys, we urge each one of you guys to make mm -hmm. it expedient that you come out and visit us on Wednesday night for question and answer, on Friday night for prayer services, sister, yes. brothers, and definitely on the, the, the day that the Lord set aside and made a, a, a law to keep. Yes, yes sir. which is the yes. Sabbath day, the seventh day of the week, sister brother. It's not the first day, but we say the seventh day of the week. You can read it according to uh, Exodus twentieth chapter and the commandments, sister and brothers. And the commandments are still good and mm -hmm. still sure, and still we're gonna be judged by those commandments when the books are open, sisters and brothers. We urge each and every one of you guys to come out for the rest of the Black History series that we yes. are doing right now, so you can learn who you really are, sisters and brothers. Yes, you are not a, a Negro. You're not the N word. You're not African American. You're not Afro American. You're not any of those things, you're not just black, sister and brother, but you are the true and living children of Israel, sister and brother. We urge you guys to come out and do the, finish the five-part series with us. And also, pick up this book that the, the Lord inspired Brother Bui, the, the head pass here to Israel and God to put together. The Four Winds of Heaven. Four Winds of Heaven. This book right here, sister and brother, is selling like wildfire in Europe. The Four Winds of Heaven, a book written and produced by the Israel of God, it deals with an analysis of the rapture and saved and born again, gives you the historical background of a whole lot of fallacy, sisters and brothers. It is history past, present, and future pre-told. And also, two brothers and sisters, Man. when I first bought this book, I read this book in one day. I read it in one day also. And, <laughs> and most people say they can't understand Daniel or Revelation. Hmm. This is a book. This is a companion to your Bible. Yes, he explains right. it clearly what you're looking at. This, yes. This abomination of desolation. Yes. This little horn. The three ribs and the mouth of this, this man yes. of sin. Yes. Get the book, brothers and sisters. It will help your study and, and it will make it'll get you closer to the Lord. And we thank you yeah. for your time. So, sisters and brothers, 
the it's always been a little blessed to be the harm is so presented to be a not saved for the hurt of the daughter of my people on my hurt. May Lord be your grace and every one of you guys. Yes. May Lord give you peace. No Amen. Black history going on in the end of the God. Part three. Don't no forget this, brother. Part three. Spiritual death and resurrection. Join us here. This coming Saturday, 12 at the bomb. Be up. The bomb of Gilead. We're seeing this in another episode. The bomb of Gilead. John. The bomb of Gilead. Don't keep on healing me. Father, protect my back. I'm at the bomb. The bomb of Gilead. Twelve and the other. The drama in the streets of my people is dying And I'm starting to lose sleep from all the grieving and crying I don't trip cause I believe it's a kingdom design yeah. And vision shall be yours, you don't ever be lying yeah. Unlike the false prophet and the reverend be lying yeah. Talk about we going yeah. to heaven, not to earth when we die